Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so I wanted just to go over the the products of uh, what's available now in Mat MATLAB 2015, sorry, 2016A. This release is pretty incredible. Uh, just because I'm working with Python does not mean I dislike MATLAB. Uh, there's a lot of overlap. Obviously, price comes into, becomes a factor as well. But there's some very interesting features that I like with this new version. One thing I need to uh, point out is as of, I believe, release 2015A or B, theoretically, I haven't tried it myself, but you are able to call from within MATLAB uh, native Python scripts. So the nice thing is that you can build out what you want in Python and then still be able to use it interoperably. I can never talk anymore. Interoperably with MATLAB. Now, here's some of the interesting and unique features. This feature, uh, I'm, I'm really digging. I've always liked the editor, but there's now there's this thing called Live Editor. And essentially what it enables you to do is uh, be able to run scripts from your MATLAB editor, Live Editor that is, and be able to generate all your charts, no different than in the original MuPad or uh, IPython. Uh, and the nice thing is you get all the cool stuff, including the equations, which would be very useful for uh, more advanced quant research. And of course, uh, you get the multilingual. But here's the other cool part is the sharing and a publication of, let's say, to, I'm gonna assume, PDF and HTML. Pretty cool. Um, so there's that. Also, this app designer looks kinda pretty good, too. Um, this, I mean, considering when you get Qt Designer that I've discovered in Python, that's pretty cool in itself. The nice thing is when you get all these extra little cool things, like these knobs and switches and lamps. If you haven't seen me in Simulink uh, earlier, about a year ago, I love those features. Um, but now you, you have this ability to build them right into MATLAB, uh, MATLAB uh, 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 scripts themselves and create some pretty cool apps from them. So they've come a long ways with this. And I gotta tell you, uh, MathWorks has done some genius stuff here. Um, so I thought I'd just mention that. Also, uh, the deep learning, obviously machine learning is becoming a big deal. Uh, and I pretty well, gonna be honest with you, uh, I've always was impressed with mach machine learning in MATLAB, but I'm sure that this product will take it to the next level that probably no other uh, environment will get to this level of where MATLAB and MathWorks is at. Um, now, <laughs> it just doesn't stop. I mean, you got Simulink, some events and this flight simulator stuff. Uh, for me, I've always figured uh, in Simulink, generating C++ from it, I mean, there's some pretty, pretty, tick it just makes Simulink using it easier and easier. Now, I haven't gone into full detail to understand what these um, features are, but I'll tell you, if you got ever tried working with Start uh, Simulink at the beginning, it can get really, really crazy. Uh, you don't know where to start. Um, I'm sure this start page will make it a lot easier. Automatic solver option. I've always had that problem switching from one solver to the next. Units. I'm not sure how that will help. One click display. Uh, the little highlighting capability of your um, data. I'm sure that's very useful. Um, just on and on it goes, and uh, it's it's really good. So. I gotta tell you, uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. This one I think is really important. Uh, new interfaces for scopes, got a lot more detail you can put in your output scopes from spreadsheet block. So that is a pretty cool, cool feature because uh, you can now use this as a simulating way to feed data into your simulate model. Uh, that is a very big deal. Uh, and I'm sure there's some other stuff that I missed. Um, overall, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed with the software uh, for MATLAB. Uh, I have no idea how to integrate all of this into you know, the world of 
uh, Python, and, and if you haven't seen some of the uh, headlines coming out of Microsoft and what they're generating with the Microsoft R, God knows what that they got going on. It, it's becoming more and more sophisticated. But, um, you know, for me right now, uh, I got to tell you, I do like my Python. Um, I, I think it's just as good as any of this stuff, uh, maybe, but it's free and it's open source. But don't get me wrong, I still like MATLAB. And uh, I think what they got going on here is pretty, pretty cool. Just thought I'd let you know, and uh, hopefully that may help some people out. Talk to you later.